Hello everyone and welcome back. So in the previous lesson we have seen how to implement here some pagination service for the lessons of a given course. What we are going to do now is we are going to open the all lessons component and instead of displaying only the lessons of course with ID 1, we are going to also display a second table here on the same screen that displays the lessons of course 2, so Angular, HTTP and services. And we can see that the first lesson has a description what is an observable and the second lesson should say observables, error handling and completion. So let's try to do that go here and we simply add here a new instance of the course component and we pass it on a new ID. Let's try this out to see what would happen. So if we load this, we can see that something strange is going on here because the title of the courses is correct. So we have here Angular Tutorial for Beginners and we have here Angular HTTP and Services. But the values of the pager are the same. They correspond to the lessons of course 2 and not the lessons of course 1. So what happened here? Let's think about this for a second. We are creating here two components of type course. So we have here indeed two instances of the course component. But now let's try to click next. You can see that clicking next and previous here, let's use this table, this affects both tables. So what could be going on here? If we go to the course component, you can see here that we are injecting here the lessons pager service. But if you remember initially, we have added it here at the level of the application module. So this means that this is a global singleton service, like the user service that is going to be shared by the whole application. So this means that these two instances of the course component are sharing the same pager service. So that is why when we click on next in one instance, that is also going to affect the other instance. So in this particular case of a service like a pager, we would want to avoid this situation. On the other hand, on the case of the user service, that was exactly the behavior that we were looking for. We wanted the data to be shared globally, but that is not the case of the pager. So for implementing the pager, what we need to do is to use it as a local service. So we no longer declare it here as a global singleton service, but instead we are going to go at the level of the course component and we are going to add it here as a local service. So we are going to use here the providers property and we are going to say that here we want the lessons pager service. So what happens here is that the Angular dependency injection system is hierarchical. So depending on the different nodes of the tree, we can specify injectables, such as for example, the lessons pager service that is only visible at a certain portion of the component tree. So in this case, this means that the lessons pager service will be created together with the course component. So if we have two course component instances, we are also going to have two instances of the lessons pager service. In order to prove that, let's go here to the constructor and we are going to do here a console.log. We are simply going to say that an instance of lessons pager service was created. So this way we will be able to confirm on the console if indeed two instances of the service will be created. Also, if you remember, we were tracking here on destroy, we were tracking here when the component was being destroyed. So if the component is destroyed, also the service would be destroyed. So any data that it would be holding, if it was a stateful service, like the case of the lessons pager service, that data would also be garbage collected if it wasn't being referenced by other parts of the application. So let's try this out now. The application has reloaded and we can see here that this is already working as expected now. So here at the level of the Angular tutorial for beginners, we have here the lessons that correspond to that course. And here at the level of the Angular HTTP and services, we can see here that we have the lesson what is an observable, observables error handling. So this is what it was expected. And if we open the console and we check here, we have here two instances of the lessons pager service are being created. So indeed there are two pagers 
one is paginating the list of Angular Tutorial for Beginners lessons and the other is paginating the Angular HTTP and Services lessons and the two work independently so now I am paging through the list of lessons of the second course but that is not affecting the pagination of the lessons of the first course. Now another thing that we want to see is what about component creation and destruction? Let's navigate around the application to see how this is working. So if you remember the all lessons component was having here two instances of the course component that we are printing out to the screen whenever we are destroying them. So, so far these instances were not yet destroyed. These two instances will be destroyed if we navigate away from the all lessons component. Let's go to the home component. So as you can see the two instances of course component were destroyed. Now if we navigate back to the all lessons component we are going to see that we have again two instances of the lessons pager service. So as we can see the angular dependency injection system is hierarchical. We don't have to define only global singleton services. We have the local service pattern that is implemented using the providers property of each component. So we can define services that are only visible by a certain section of the page. And if those services happen to contain state that is used by that section of the page, that state will be destroyed when the component is itself destroyed. So the life cycle of the service is tied to the life cycle of the component. This is very useful for implementing, for example, stateful services such as the lessons pager service that is linked to a very specific section of the page. We can have state there stored for user experience purposes and we don't have to worry about cleaning up that state. When the component will be destroyed, the state will also be destroyed. Our biggest concern is to avoid keeping references to that state so that it doesn't stay in memory and ends up not being garbage collected. So with this we have covered the local service Angular application design pattern. Next up in our catalog of reactive patterns is the master detail with cached master table navigation. This is coming right up in the next lesson.